Hi guys, it's Simulsi here, so welcome to another speed build. So today I am building a base game only family house, which I am very excited to share with you guys. This is something that I get requested to build a lot. And I don't know, I'm just not really that inspired very often to build a base game only build. But recently my friend Harry just shared some really beautiful screenshots of this base game build that she did. And honestly, it looks like she used every single pack. It's one of the most beautiful builds I've ever seen. I'm going to link her speed build because she did just share a speed build of it. So I will link in the description. That way, if you guys haven't watched it, you can check it out there. And honestly, check out her channel in general. I know I mentioned her quite a bit, so maybe you guys have already checked out her channel, but if you haven't, definitely do because she's very talented and I'm really excited to meet her this year in LA for EA Play. It's going to be so much fun. But anyway, so my idea for this build was to do something extremely rustic because I've done a few different sort of base game styles. I've done kind of like a regular suburban-y type house. A long time ago, I did a more modern style house and then the last one that I did that was base game only was a Victorian home. So this time I wanted to go for kind of a ranch style farmhouse, very rustic with like a lot of porches, balconies. I wanted to do, I was thinking about doing a garden area, but I decided not to. I did a greenhouse garden shed thing instead. And then there's also a pool area with some playground equipment. So there's some monkey bars and a sandbox. And then other than that, I think there's an outdoor dining area, lots of landscaping. And I really just tried to make it look as rustic and kind of lush as I possibly could. So I think it turned out to be a really nice home. And also something that I should mention, The Sims 4 base game is completely free right now through Origins. So all you have to do is redeem a product code and then you'll have it on your computer forever. It's not like a trial. Once you download it, it is yours to keep forever. Completely free. It actually ends today though. I meant to have this video up yesterday, so I do apologize for that. I did share a community post, so hopefully you guys saw it and hopefully you guys still have enough time to download it if you haven't already. But yeah, it ends May 28th at 10 a.m. Pacific time. So I'm actually uploading this video a couple hours early. That way you guys can hopefully have time to download it and redeem your product code if you haven't already. But I love this promotion. I think it's going to bring so many new Sims players to the game. And I think it's really exciting. And also the Sims 4 base game is going to be getting a lot bigger because they have confirmed that we are getting 350 new swatches to base game. And I have no idea when that's coming out hopefully soon because I cannot wait to see what they add color swatches to because there's so many items that have only like one swatch, two swatches, maybe three swatches from base game. So it makes them a little bit hard to use and a little bit limiting. Sometimes you feel like you're doing like the same thing over and over. Something I would really like to see them add more swatches to is couches. That hipster sofa, I believe I use it in this house. It's my favorite couch probably in the entire game other than the one that came with cats and dogs. I love the one that came with cats and dogs. It's a very similar style. It's a little bit different than the base game one. The only thing that I think I like better about that one is it has pillows. So I really wish we just had freestanding pillows that I could use as decoration on any couch that I wanted. But yeah, I've complained about that probably enough. But the couch that I use in here, the hipster sofa is so pretty. It's such a nice shape. It looks really soft. It looks comfortable. It's a beautiful couch, but it only has three swatches. It's so frustrating. So I'm really hoping they add swatches to that. And also the very simple base game counters, not the modern ones, but the ones that look a little bit kind of cheap. It almost looks like the countertop is made out of like particle board or something. I really hope that they add more swatches to that because I really like using those counters. I really like the upper head cabinets, especially. So hopefully we will see some more swatches to that. I think it would be amazing. What is something that, that you guys want to see more colors added to? I feel like if I sat down and thought about it, I could probably think of more things, but those are the two things that really come to my mind right off the bat. So definitely let me know if you guys have anything that you really want to see more colors added to, but I can't wait to that update. And I feel like the updates are like always getting better. Like the last one where we got the freelancer career and we also got some really nice objects like the modern desk and side table with the hanging uh, bookshelf. What else did we get? Oh, some really nice clutter decorations that I use all the time, like the pencil holder and then that open face book. And I feel like the quality just keeps getting better and better. So also keep in mind, if you do redeem the Sims 4 for free, Make sure it's fully updated before you play because if you want to obviously get any more packs, you'll want to do that. But also the game is just a lot better if it's completely updated. I'm not sure if it updates automatically for you when you download it because I've had The Sims 4 for a long time. So 
yeah, I've obviously updated it several times since then, but definitely make sure it's fully updated and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I just love the updates. The Sims 4 base game is all always growing and getting a lot bigger. But also something to keep in mind, if you don't have money to buy like any expansion packs, game packs or stuff packs or anything like that, there is a free pack. It's the holiday pack and that gets updated about once a year. I don't think it gets updated any more than that, but it gets updated usually around like the end of the year, like December, so around the winter holidays. And there's so many really nice items in that pack and probably if you were to download it now, it would be a really like large pack because there's so many really good items and it gets updated every year like I said so I'm trying to think how many items would actually come in it I think it'd be probably as big as like an entire stuff pack but completely free and I really like a lot of those decorations the last time that I did a base game only build I did use that pack since it's free and I kind of consider it part of base game this time I didn't because I felt like keeping it like a purely base game only build. That way, if you guys are just brand new to The Sims 4, getting base game, you don't have the free pack, you don't have anything, it is so easy for you guys to use and place in your game. So hopefully you guys will like it and hopefully you guys who are new to the game will enjoy this build. I think there's a lot more base game only builds coming out. I've seen some like screenshots of a lot of different people sharing them. So definitely keep an eye out for more base game builds coming to other people's channels because it is kind of like a trend right now through the different channels for people trying to make more builds accessible to all of the new players. So I think that's really nice. But the whole shape and structure of the house has basically came together. I might make a few changes. I can't exactly remember. But here I am starting with the landscaping. And like I said, for the landscaping, I really just wanted it to be really lush and kind of overgrown and a little bit messy. I didn't want it to look like any professional gardeners come or the Sims that live here aren't really too concerned if things get a little bit too crazy or need trimming and stuff. They're not too concerned with it. So I definitely had a lot of fun with it. And the landscaping isn't very different to how I normally landscape, even though it's base game only. Most of the plants that we have in game are from the base game and they're ones that I use all the time in a lot of different types of builds. There are a few packs though that came with some more landscaping plants. And I figured I might as well talk about this because some of you guys might be new and not exactly sure what comes in different packs. So if you are looking for landscaping, um, Outdoor Retreat is a good pack in my opinion because I really like the trees and bushes and flowers and stuff that come in that pack. I do use them quite a bit. And then there's also Romantic Garden, which is more kind of magical looking if you're into doing like fairy tale houses. I feel like those plants, because the colors are a little bit more exaggerated and a little bit brighter and more colorful than I think more realistic plants are. So that pack is a lot of fun. And then also some came with, well, the latest pack, which was Strangerville. We got the plants released in an update and those are part of the debug menu now. And yeah, I am so happy about that. They're desert plants and they're beautiful and I love them. And I'm forgetting exactly what other packs came with plants. I can't really think of it. But yeah, I know those three for sure and they're really all very nice, but definitely the majority of the plants that we have in game came with base game. But over here I am putting a pool and then I have the monkey bars. I also build a sandbox that I think is really adorable and I put a few toys in there and I use the statue toys so they wouldn't get cleaned up because I wanted them to stay in the sandbox. And then I also place a dollhouse out here because I thought that'd be kind of nice. We did get this building block table that came with Parenthood and I really wanted to use that. I think one time I was actually going to do a base game only build or it was like a limited pack build. I forget exactly what I was doing, but I placed that building block thing thinking it was a base game item because for whatever reason, I thought it came when we got toddlers. But yeah, it's not a base game item. So there is a few things that I was definitely missing while building this. And one of those things... I think was like candles and a lot of just like different clutter decorations. But I think for this rustic style, it actually worked out really nicely doing base game only. But if you do like this rustic style and you're looking for more types of items that go with this, I would say laundry day is probably the number one. And then the two others that are kind of closer to a rustic country style would be Definitely cats and dogs, but also jungle adventure. I think the floorboards and some of the decorations lends itself really nicely to a rustic sort of interior. And yeah, I really like that pack a lot. One of my favorites, but over here I am decorating the sandbox. I really like the way this turned out. I ha it's been a while since I've done a sandbox, but I do really like the way they come together. I'm hoping that we actually get functioning sandboxes eventually. 
where our sims can build like sand castles. Maybe if we do end up getting some sort of a beachy tropical world that will come with the pack because I think that would be really nice. I'm hoping that we're actually going to be getting some sort of a trailer update teaser screenshot something i feel like it's so quiet even though there's been leaks and speculations among like amongst the simming community there's been no official announcement and it's very frustrating and i want something to come out and i hope that we don't have to wait all the way till ea play to know exactly what's coming but i feel like that's what's going to happen so it's a bit unfortunate but yeah, I can't wait to see what the next pack is actually going to be and what the announcement, if any, is going to happen at EA Play. So we'll see what happens. But over here, I am building a garden shed. I love this shed. If you guys did see a while back, it's been a few months now, but I did build like my dream garden shed. And that's probably one of my favorite builds I've ever done. It was very simple. And I did this kind of like garden flower arranging studio with some like easels and stuff. So it's kind of like an art studio too. But this one, I decided to make it look rustic, but the shape of it is definitely designed after that one that I built. I think it's exactly the same with the porch, the awning, and like the layout of the interior with the glass roof. I think it's exactly the same. Different colors though, and different decorations. Inside here, I did decide to put the woodworking table, so you will see that. And I went through the debug menu and added a lot of decorations like relating to the woodworking skill. So I definitely think uh, whoever the parent is or parents, maybe one of them are into, yeah, the woodworking skill. I also used a lot of decorations throughout the house that are like handmade statues. And I felt like that really added to the whole rustic vibe that I was going for. Um, but yeah, also speaking of the debug menu, I used that a lot throughout this build just to add more clutter items and details. So I didn't feel too limited when adding decorations because there's definitely things that I was missing from other packs but using the debug menu was really helpful because even though it was base game the debug menu is still really extensive really large there's so many things that can be added through that menu so it was really helpful when doing this base game only build I think all of the landscaping has came together now I just put a few pots over here and I was going to put these larger pots inside this kind of thinking it was more of like a greenhouse but then once I added this workbench, I didn't have as much space in here as I thought I would. So what I end up doing is a seating area, the workbench, of course, and then I also place a few pots in here. So if you have the seasons expansion pack and you have a few plants that you want to grow like in every season or all year long, you can place them in here. You can, of course, completely gut it and turn it into a greenhouse and have a bunch of pots in here. So you could have like a full garden all year round, but I really like decorating the garden sheds with having like more of a hangout area and lots of clutter. As you can see here, I am finding all of the clutter items now that I wanna use. I just went through the debug menu and pulled out as many things that I thought kind of related to gardening, flowers, woodworking, all that kind of stuff. And we have some really good items. There's a hammer, there's all these different types of chisels, there's a saw, there's like this welding mask in here, a wrench, there's sacks of fertilizer, so many different things. I honestly could have spent all day looking through the debug menu and probably still would not even find everything that it has to offer. It's very large, especially when you're not filtering by just base game and you're looking at all the packs. I love the debug menu so much. I use it all of the time. I know I mentioned, it's been a while, but I mentioned how I wanted to go through and do like the best of the debug menu, but I don't think I'm ready to do that. I have got a few questions every once in a while asking if I'm still going to do that. I do want to, because I think that would be a really fun video, but I feel like I'm still finding way too many things in the debug menu to actually do a proper video and know exactly what I think the best items are to use. I don't, it's really hard. So maybe it will come eventually. It's definitely something that's still been on my mind in case you were wondering, cause I know there are a few of you guys that would like to see that type of video. So we will see what happens in the future, but the garden shed has basically came together. I'm just placing a shelf over here with a few decorations. It was kind of dark. So I do place this lantern that I think is really cute. I thought about placing some of those like debug lights, but I decided not to. And since there was a glass ceiling, I didn't want to hang any chandeliers, but here I am just placing some lighting around the house. I have some chandeliers on the porches and then some wall mounted lights next to a few of the doors. And I do light up this third floor or attic area, whatever you want to call it. That way, if it's nighttime, it's lit up and it looks like there's something going on up there. I always really like to do that, 
But over here is a side porch. This one is on the very right side of the house if you're looking at the house from the street. And over here I just do a chess table and I thought these chairs were perfect. They look almost handmade so maybe the sim parent that lives here or one of them built them themselves so i really like that idea and i put a few decorations some planted pots around and i think it's just a nice little area there i just placed a few trash cans and then the mailbox and i do a few plants around the mailbox just to make it look like it's set into the landscaping a little bit more and that side porch is complete and then over here i do a barbecue with a seating area and i think i put an outdoor dining table next to the pool so i don't do one right next to the barbecue but you can still sit out here and eat by the pool, which I think is really nice. So these couches that I'm using here actually came in one of the updates that I was talking about, I think not too long ago. I forget exactly when we got this update, but it was like this whole Caribbean theme where we got these couches, there's a matching coffee table, and then this chair. I love these couches and chair. Like this whole set is so pretty. I use them in the garden shed. I use them again over by the pool. And then obviously they're on that back porch. And then I think on the top balcony, I use them again. I felt like they just worked really nicely in this build and they come in so many different swatches. There's some that are more colorful and a little bit more of like a pattern. And then there's the simple ones too. And I just love them. So that is something that I really like. That was one of the best updates that we've ever got. It was like so big. We got a bunch of really nice creative sim items some beautiful hairs. And what else came with it? I forget exactly at the moment, but yeah, those couches are really nice. But here I am placing the outdoor dining table. I put a few decorations on top of it. And then the chairs that I was talking about, I think they're the same ones that I used inside the garden shed. They're these ones. I put them right here by the pool. And I think they look really good with this little table in between them. If I was using any other packs, I probably would have put a lemonade pitcher in between them. So you could sit out by the pool and have some like iced tea or lemonade. We got that item, I believe with backyard stuff and I use it all of the time. It's one of my most favorite items to use in like any outdoor like setting. I think it's so good. I use it a lot on interiors too. I just use it all the time. I love that. But here on the top balcony, I wanted to have some more like activities or things for the family to do together. So I thought this was a good place to do it. I even thought about including like a toy box out here so the kids could come out here and play, but I ended up not doing that. But I do have this card table that I always forget is a base game item. So I definitely liked including that up here. Then another seating area with like a guitar so the Sims could sit there and like talk and hang out, play some music, play some games together. And I think that's just a really nice idea. And then here I am back to the front porch with another seating area. I placed that bench there with some plants next to it and then a chair next to the front door with a side table and some candles. And then I think that's basically it for all of the exterior. I do make some changes when we get onto the second floor onto the top balcony because I have to move the door and stuff, but not really any big changes. It's it basically looks exactly the same, but here I am working out the floor plan to the first floor. Now, something I should mention, this is like one of the most ridiculous things I've ever done during a build. So I went on to do the floor plan. I work out the entire first floor and instead of going on to the second floor to make sure that the second floor had enough room for all of the bedrooms or made sense, I decorate the entire first floor. I have no idea what I was thinking. I mean, thankfully it kind of worked out and the second floor wasn't that hard to do a floor plan, but I still wasn't able to fit like as many bedrooms as I originally wanted. It's only a three bedroom house. I kind of was hoping it would be a four bedroom. So you guys could probably rework the floor plan a little bit better and do a better job. But for whatever reason, I just got carried away and just started decorating the entire downstairs and then got to the second floor and I was like, okay, I have no floor plan up here, but yeah, thankfully it did work and I was able to still fit three bedrooms. And so what I decided to do, there's the parents' bedroom, which has a double bed, of course. There is a toddler's room because I included the like uh, sandbox area. I thought it'd be cute if a toddler was out there playing, but of course, if you wanna turn it into a kid's room, you could easily do that by switching out a few of the items. And then the other bedroom, originally I was thinking about making it a teen room, but then I switched out a few items and make it a kid room. So it wasn't my original plan, but I still think it turns out really nice. And then here I am starting off by decorating the kitchen area. I absolutely love the way this kitchen turned out. It's very rustic. It's kind of an interesting shape. The way I do this island and the counter, I don't know, I just really like the way it turned out. I also do a breakfast table in here and I just think it looks really nice. Here I did have to switch out the window because the windows that I was originally using hung down too low 
and I don't really like it when counters cover up windows. Sometimes you can kind of get away with it if it doesn't cover it up too much, but that was too much for my taste anyway. So I did have to switch it out for this window and I think it turns out to be a really nice spot. But here I am just picking out some tile to put as a backsplash and the whole walls throughout this entire build are a very neutral brown color. I mean, this house is very brown because it kind of just suited the rustic feel that I was going for. So if brown isn't your color, then you may not like it, but it is an easy fix if you want to switch up the floors or wall color or just change the counter color and leave everything in its same spot. It should work pretty nicely if you prefer a different color scheme, but I felt like it just suited the whole rustic style really well. But over here I am adding a few clutter items. I want this house to be really lived in, so I didn't want to add so many clutter decorations that the house wasn't going to be functional or usable, especially here in the kitchen, but I still wanted it to feel like a family lived here that, you know, is a little bit kind of chaotic because the kids are running around, those types of things. And I just really had a lot of fun with it, especially in the living room area. I add a few like extra books and toys and stuff that I imagine the kids laid around. So I, I just really like doing that. Uh, but over here I do a breakfast table and I use this um, bench as kind of like a breakfast bar bench. It won't work necessarily. Your Sims will probably still be able to sit there. They just won't be able to actually have their plate on the table and eat and everything like they normally would, but I really like doing this. It's one of my favorite ways to make like a breakfast table, but if you need a full table, there is a, like a full dining table or dining room in this build that has lots of different seats. So I just do three seats around here, and then I also have the high chair in here as well, and I put a few decorations on top of the table. And this dining set that I used worked perfectly with the bench because the wood tones are like almost the same color. So I really like that. Um, then I just hang a few pictures around. I have a mirror on the wall and a rug. And I think this is basically it for the whole breakfast kitchen area. But here I am going through the debug menu and I wanted to find some wooden spoons because I felt like it was kind of appropriate for this build. And I love the wooden spoons in the debug menu. So I place a couple of them around. And then over here is the hallway and entryway to the build. And it's very simple. I mean, it's kind of a standard hallway, but I get a few paintings. I have a clock. And then there's also this bookcase that fit really nicely in this nook. If I was using other packs, I probably would put a closet there, the one that came from Get Together, because I like adding those as like extra storage because I feel like that's a little bit realistic, especially in a hallway to have like a closet where you keep winter coats or the vacuum, those types of things. But a bookcase worked nicely here. But over here is the entryway with a stand up mirror. I have a coat rack, a backpack that I kind of imagine the kid left by the front door when they were coming in and out of the house, going to school, those types of things. Put a few decorations on top of this dresser that I did imagine was used for storage. Really like the way that looks, and I think that's basically it for the entire entryway. Oh, there I just placed a lunch pail in the kitchen. I thought that was really cute. So over here is going to be the living room. I really wanted to include a fireplace, so I tried putting one here in the corner, but it kind of clipped through the wall and didn't, it didn't look quite right, and then it kind of made the living room layout a little bit awkward with the furniture. So I decided not to, but if you want to, it kind of works in that spot if you don't mind the awkward layout of the furniture. But these are the couches that I was talking about. I'm hoping they recolor them. I love them in this green color. There's also a really nice cream color. The orangey color is a little bit harder to use, but I'm hoping that they add more swatches because there's another really simple couch that we got with base game, but it looks really hard and the arms are kind of boxy and it, it doesn't look very comfortable. I don't like using it, but that one has like 50 swatches. So I'm hoping that they do add at least a couple more to this couch because it is one of my favorites, but it matched really nicely with that chair that I was using and I have the coffee table in here. This is a really nice industrial rustic looking coffee table. And I really like that it has that shelf on the bottom with the extra details of all those clutter items. It makes it look like they have so many things just put away down there and just really like when they have that many extra details put on an object because it makes it feel that much more lived in. So I really liked using that in here. And that shelf that I just put on that back wall, I use this candle thing that I always forget exists because I never use it. But here, since I didn't have like a whole lot of candle options, I found it and I used it a couple of different times. So I'm definitely going to try to use that in more builds because I think it's a really pretty item. But over here, I am decorating the bathroom. For whatever reason, I stopped decorating the living room and came over here. So I do go back into the living room and decorate the coffee table with a few other things. And I think that's it though. It's just a coffee table that needs a few 
few clutter items on it but here I am decorating this downstairs bathroom and it's not very cluttered or detailed because I don't imagine they use this bathroom all of the time to like get ready but it is a full bathroom with the shower and everything so you should have plenty of room because there's only one other bathroom and that one's a full bathroom too but hopefully that'll be enough so here is the back hallway i just have a chair in the corner i have this side table here with a few decorations on top of it and then i have a few paintings nothing too crazy but i think it's a nice hallway and yeah it's nicely decorated in my opinion anyways i really liked this statue of the cat and the ball of string i thought that was so cute but here i am back into the living room decorating the coffee table so i place a remote i have like a pin a few toys you may have noticed that i placed some seaweed just for a minute because i was like looking through the debug menu just to find random things and i don't know if i've ever noticed those particular piles of seaweed before there's another one that i've noticed but those ones i don't think i've ever seen before so i thought they looked really cool i will definitely have to use them in other builds but i did finish decorating the coffee table with a few toys clutter items and the remote and things like i was talking about but over here is the formal dining room so it's a really large table they could have friends over if they want to have more kids or something they have plenty of room for everybody to sit here and eat so i really liked that because i think the last family home that i built i ended up not having any room for a dining table and I was kind of frustrated with myself about that because I really like having like a nice place for your Sims to sit down and eat or at least a full table. That one ended up being like a breakfast table only, but that's okay. Can't be in every single build. Not every house, I guess, has a formal dining area, but I was happy to be able to fit one in here. And then there I just placed those candles, the same ones that I used in the living room. I think they're so cute and I really liked the way they looked over here. And I have a few statues and random clutter items that I thought looked nice and a few pieces of artwork on the wall and then I think this is basically it for the whole dining room area I also place some fish plaques on the wall so maybe one of the people that live in this house likes to do some fishing but here I'm going on to the second floor as you can see I did the entire first floor without even thinking about the second story I don't know what I was doing I've never done this before there's been plenty of times that I do all of the landscaping before looking at the interior but I don't think I've ever done this so it's kind of strange but it still worked out I was still able to fit a few bedrooms in here now if you wanted to you could make this room that I turn into an office another bedroom and maybe they'll just have their own private door that leads to the balcony or maybe you could rework the floor plan a little bit that way they could still get to the balcony you don't have to go through a bedroom but what I decided to do was leave it open with an archway and turn it into an office space and I think it looks so nice I have the computer desk in here there's an art easel a bunch of clutter items I really wanted it to feel kind of messy and lived in so I had a lot of fun decorating this spot I put a cork board in here with some postcards a couple of pieces of artwork and some drawings too I placed over by the easel and then also that stand that has some like paints and so I'm like open drawers or something you'll see it here in just a moment but I place that next to the art easel and then in the other corner I do a large teddy bear and some building blocks that are for the toddlers and I think it looks really cute it's a nice spot for maybe one of the parents like works from home and they're in here either on the computer or at the art easel and then their little toddler can sit in here and play and not have to be running around the house and they can keep an eye on them so that's kind of a nice idea then over here is like another hallway I do a side table with some art above it and then some random statues and other things I'm not exactly sure I can't remember I get a clock in here and some other things like a rug and then this chair I love this chair I know I've mentioned it so many different times but I think it's one of my favorite base game chairs I really like the texture on it it has like these like rivet details that I think are really good too so it's a nice chair in my opinion but here I'm just placing a few random clutter items to fill up this shelf I have that cool statue that's like a bear with his arms up in the air I think that's really nice oh I did replace that painting for a mirror instead so yeah, I think that looks really good but over here is the family bathroom so there is no ensuite to the parents bedroom so this is their only bathroom up here and it's a full bathroom it's a pretty good size there is the toddler potty in here so you can train your toddlers to use the bathroom and yeah stand-up shower sink pretty basic bathroom and I have the laundry hamper over here of course if you want to have laundry in your game you'll probably want to replace that for a functioning hamper if you own the laundry day game pack and maybe you could turn one of the hallway spaces downstairs into a little laundry nook I think that could work pretty nicely or place them in the bathrooms I always do that quite a bit too because it's a nice and easy way to place a washer and dryer 
But over here is the kids room. So originally I was going with this pink color scheme and then I decided to switch it to this blue and red. And that's a color scheme that I leave and I think it looks really good in here but I was going to decorate it to be for a teenager. So I started placing this musical equipment and I thought that maybe they could be a teen that was into music, but for whatever reason, I changed my mind and swapped out this equipment for the kids arts and crafts table. I kind of wish I would have left like the musical equipment and had it be a teenager's room instead, but it is an easy fix if you prefer the music equipment and you don't want a kid in this room. But I mean, I feel like it kind of works either for a kid or a teen just need different skill building objects because obviously the kids can't use the same things that teens and adults can use, but they do have a desk in here so they can sit and do their homework. And there I just swapped out the music equipment for the crafting table. And then I just put a bunch of posters around. I have a lot of clutter items on top of the desk and I think it looks really decorated and lived in, kind of messy because I put some messy clothes on the floor and those aren't real laundry. They are just the base game, like pile decoration of laundry. And I think that looks really good. Oh, there I just placed this circuitry kit. This came with the latest update and I love this item. I've used it quite a bit since we got it and I think it looks so cute. And then over here is going to be the parents' bedroom and I used this bed. This is one of my favorite base game beds. It comes in some really nice swatches, only three of them unfortunately, but they're really good ones. Oh, and now that I think of it, hopefully this will be one of the items that more swatches are added to when we get that update. Oh, I think that would be really good. I hope that would be a really good thing for them to add colors to. Yeah, hopefully they will add more swatches to beds, particularly this one. But this one, I really liked it in this brown and red color. I felt like it suited the build, but it comes in two other swatches, one with sunflowers on it, and then the other one has the Starry Night painting on it, which is really nice. But their bedroom is really simple. I just placed a dresser in there with a few decorations on top of it, some paintings and artwork on the wall. And then over here is going to be the toddler's bedroom. So you could probably even turn this into like a twins room if you wanted to, because this bedroom is kind of big. I mean, it's kind of small at the same time because it's kind of narrow, but it's really long. And I just put a dresser in here. There's a bookcase, some toys and some random like clutter items and different things in here. I go into the debug menu and pull out some diapers and some books and I think like a baby bottle or something, which are some really nice debug objects. And they add so much to toddlers rooms and nurseries because they're so realistic. So I definitely really liked using that in here. But this is basically it for the build. I just finish up this toddlers room and then we are already onto the screenshot. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed. I had so much fun doing a base game only build again and I will definitely be doing more in the future. Also, don't forget that the Sims 4 base game is completely free through Origin. It is for PC and Mac, so also keep that in mind. And it ends today at 10 a.m., so I am uploading a little bit earlier. Hopefully, those of you guys that haven't heard about this or haven't got a chance to download it will have enough time because it is completely free. And once you get it on your computer, it's yours to keep forever. So it's not like a trial or anything like that. It is yours to keep forever for completely free. So definitely check out the description box because I will leave some links down there to hopefully help you guys out. But thank you guys so much for watching and please leave any comments or suggestions that you have and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. You don't have to be smart. No need to dress up for me to see that you're a good man. A good man A real good man When the wind blows And the windows are closing You let the world know What it's been, has been and There's no use In looking back Going back Wishing Chopping wood can be romantic. Sipping coffee under the apple tree is gentle, manly. Well, you're a good man, quite the best man, a real fine man.
You don't have to be smart No need to dress up for me to see that you're a good man, you're a good man.